Hi all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we are going to be continuing on with some AP Physics 1 rotational um, free response questions. As usual, I recommend you pause the video, um, try to do the problem on your own, and then come back after you've attempted the problem. So we have a thin hoop of mass m, radius r, with rotational inertia mr squared is released from rest. So I just write that mr squared is released from rest at the top of the ramp of length L above. The ramp makes an angle theta with respect to the horizontal tabletop to which the ramp is fixed. The table is a height h above the floor. Assume the loop hoop rolls without slipping down the ramp and across the table and express all algebraic answers in terms of the given quantities and fundamental constants. Derive an expression for the acceleration of the center of mass of the hoop as it rolls down the ramp. Uh, okay. Um, so, I might do this as an energy um, problem. Um, maybe. I don't know. There's a, there's a few different ways. We, we could do it as an acceleration. Let me see. Speed reaches the bottom of the ramp. Uh, oh, actually, just the, just the acceleration itself is not an energy. Um, I'm going to do a free body diagram on the loop. Okay. Um, it has gravity going down as a normal force. And it does have a slight amount of friction. Oh, the normal force is exerted here. It does have a slight amount of friction. Uh, yeah. And that's it. So this is kind of like similar to the setup of the problem for this is uh, when you do a rolling problem, this is kind of um, the general setup for the free body diagram. Um, let's see, we know that this angle is theta. And so I want to look at the horizontal components of the forces, um, the net force in the x direction, if I'm going to say this is positive, is, um, is fg sine theta minus the other horizontal component forces force of friction and the normal force is perpendicular to the x-axis which is the along the ramp so that equals ma so the acceleration um is given you know this, this equation i i can't solve this because i don't have friction i don't have acceleration so i i can't solve this directly so then i gotta look at the net torque the only thing acting creating a torque because th this force of gravity is acting at the center of the ring so there's no force uh, no torque due to this force because the R would be zero and the normal force is parallel to the R vector um, so that that torque is zero so the R vector for the force of friction is from the point of rotation to the point of where the force contacts is this here so um, this torque is just R times the force of friction and that equals I alpha and I is mr squared alpha. And if you remember, um, to relate A and alpha when you're doing rolling, um, A is equal to alpha r. So this is really m times A, uh, mr times A. Because uh, I take one of the r alphas and convert to A. Uh, so then the, um, hmm, I cancel. So it's not really force of friction equals um, yeah this is big M by the way MA so when I put it into here the force of friction is equal to MA also um, so I get FG sine theta minus MA is equal to MA so I can solve for A now so MG sine theta is equal to 2 MA and then I can divide by two. Oops, that's a little a. Little a is equal to uh, one half g sine theta. Okay. B derive an expression for the speed of the center of the mass of the hoop when it reaches the bottom of the ramp. Okay, so you could do this through energy, but since they gave you since you've already solved for acceleration, you might as well use kinematics. Um, there's two equations we can use, right, for distance and position. 
I have this equation, delta x is equal to v naught t plus 1 half at squared. However, this requires me to know like how long it's been rolling for, whereas this equation doesn't. Now, uh, the initial velocity is, it's released from rest, so the initial velocity is zero. A is one half g sine theta. And delta x is L, because it's going a length L. So v squared is equal to g sine theta L. So v is equal to the square root of g L sine theta. Okay. Now, I'm curious to do it just as energy just as for practice. Say I wanted to say, well, this had potential energy. Um, this distance here is L sine theta, right? Because if this is, so the potential energy initially is equal to L sine theta uh, mg times m times g. And that all gets converted to kinetic energy. But there's two forms of kinetic energy because it's moving linearly and it has rotational energy. So I have 1 half m v squared plus 1 half i omega squared. But omega is equal to v over r. So this would be 1 half m v squared plus 1 half i. i is m r squared. And omega squared is v over r squared. That would cancel with that. So I would have 1 half m v squared plus 1 half m v squared. That's just equal to m v squared. And that's equal to m g l sine theta. And the m's cancel. So then v would equal square root of g l sine theta. Right? And that's the same as what we had before using the kinematics. So you see, energy would have given me the same answer. OK, c, derive an expression for the horizontal distance from the edge of the table to where the hoop lands on the floor. Well, uh, its velocity will be constant at this point. It'll just be moving at this velocity. And um, the distance it would travel is just simply equal to that velocity times time. So I know its velocity, but I don't know how long it's in the air for. Um, how long it's in the air for depends on the vertical distance. So I have to look at this equation. Now, in the vertical distance, it's going to travel h. It has no initial velocity in the vertical direction because when the hoop takes off, it just has an initial velocity v and it will fall. 1 half gt squared. So t is equal to square root of 2h over g, just rearranging this equation. And then we plug that, that time into this velocity so that the distance it would be would be square root of gl sine theta, that's its velocity, times the time square root of 2h over g. Let's see, those will cancel. So this will become equal to the square root of 2HL sine theta. OK. Last part, D. Suppose the hoop is now replaced by a disk having the same mass, m, and radius, r. How will the distance from the edge of the table to where the disk lands on the floor compare with the distance determined in part C for the hoop? Um, this you kind of would have to know about how the rotational inertia changes. Okay. Um, what's going to happen is um, if the mass is evenly distributed, its i is actually going to be smaller than the mass being uh, everywhere out here. That means it's going to be um, um, easier to turn. Okay. Um, yeah, so smaller i. So if, if if i were smaller, then from an energy point of view, you could think of it as like this energy is less, so more energy is going to go into its velocity, uh, its kinetic energy velocity. Or you could do it from the kinematics. What's going to happen is, um, let's see, if this were smaller, then the force of friction would be smaller. Right, and if that were smaller, that would make the acceleration. Wait, now I'm a little confused. Well, 
Well, yeah. Well, so um, think of it this way from the energy point of view. If I were smaller, this total energy still has to remain constant. So this coefficient in front of V squared would be smaller. Um, so, um, but it's still equal to all of this. So when I divide it, V becomes bigger. So it'll go faster. It'll be, gr it'll be greater. Um, from this analysis, the kinematic analysis and the torque analysis, if I is smaller, um, force of friction, then the force of friction would be smaller. That plus that is smaller. Then I'm going to divide by a smaller number, and so A is going to be bigger. So A will be larger, right? So that, 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 that in a sense, either of those explanations would be sufficient. So, okay. Um, yeah, hope you found that helpful. I'll see you guys, see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching the video guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content and see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.